dear friends, I am Dr. K. M. Kadarish, Director, Center for Graph Theory, Ayanada Janadiyam College, Sivakarasi. Today, let us discuss something about radical formula for the solution of a polynomial. The fundamental theorem of algebra states that every polynomial with the complex coefficients of degree n has at least one root in the complex plane and hence every polynomial of degree n with the complex coefficients have all its roots in the complex field. Now the question arises, is there any formula to find all the end roots of a polynomial of degree n? Suppose the degree of the polynomial is the polynomial is ax plus b and the polynomial equation is ax plus b is equal to 0. In this case, the solution of this equation is x is equal to minus b by d. So there is a formula to find the roots of this polynomial using the coefficients of the given polynomial. Now consider the polynomial of degree 2 ax square plus bx plus c is a polynomial of degree 2 and the polynomial equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 and this equation has exactly two roots the roots are given by x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. And in this formula, we use addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and taking nth root. So in between this b and the square root, we use addition. And here we use subtraction and in between A and C we use multiplication and here we use the division and here we take the nth root of course m is equal to 2. Such a formula exists when the degree of the polynomial is 2. This formula is known as the radical formula. So a radical formula is a formula using only addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and the extraction of nth roots. Now consider a polynomial of degree 3 is known as the cubic polynomial and the equation is known as the cubic equation. The equation is x square plus px square plus 2x plus r equal to 0. There is a formula to find all the three roots of this equation. The method is known as Cartan's method. I have not written the formula here because this space is too small to write that formula. And the formula of Yeladuvadarku in the Idam Yilai. Abulagupi the formula and the formula. There is another method namely Tata Kliya's formula to find the roots of this cubic equation. So, when n equal to 3, 
there is a formula to find the roots of the cubic equation. Now, when n equal to 4, the polynomial of degree 4 is known as quartic polynomial and the equation is known as the quartic equation. Where also there is a method, there is a formula to find all the four roots of this quartic equation. The method is Descartes' solution of the quartic equation. It is a very complicated one. There is also another method known as Ferrari's formula. Using this formula also, we can find all the four roots of the quartic equations using the coefficients and using the operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and using the nth roots. Now the question is, what will happen if the degree of the polynomial is at least to pi? It is impossible to find such a formula for polynomials of degree greater than or equal to 5. This was proved by Henrik Abel in the year 1823. In 1823, for each such polynomial, he associated a group. That group is known as the Galois group of that polynomial. And he proved that the solution, the formula for the roots of p of x exists if and only if the corresponding group, Galois group is solvable. What is a solvable group? It is simply a group satisfying certain, certain condition. Now what is the Galois group of the polynomial p of x when the degree of the polynomial is at least 5. He proved that the Galois group of the nth degree polynomial is the symmetric group Sn. Of course, Sn is the set of all permutations on m symbols. It is a group and the number of elements of this group is factorial. So, the existence of a formula for the roots of the polynomial p of x is equivalent to checking whether the corresponding group Sm is solvable or not. Unfortunately, the symmetry group S2, S3, S4 are solvable. That is why we are able to find radical formulas for n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4. Unfortunately, when n is greater than or equal to 5, the symmetric group Sn is not solvable. The symmetric group Sn is not solvable means there is no formula for a polynomial, no formula for finding the roots of a polynomial of degree at least 2. So, there is no radical formula for finding the roots of a polynomial of degree n greater than or equal to 5. I am saying that there is no formula. I am not saying that it is not possible to find the roots of a polynomial. The fundamental theorem of algebra, the nth degree polynomial has exactly n roots. So, it is possible to find roots of that polynomial, but there is no formula for finding the formula. Tamil Nadu Lirundu, Nilangaikku, Rail Vasadi Illai. Anal, Tamil Nadu Lirundu, Nilangaikku, Veru Vidamaka Chandradayam. Rail was at Ilayendral, Tamil Nadu Lirundu, Elangi Chelevi, Mudia, the Internet Solavale, Tamil Nadu Lirundu, Elangi, very valuable, Molamate, 
செல்ல முடிஞ்சு அதனை போல் வென் என் இஸ் கிரேட்டர் தன் ஆர் இப்போ டு ஃபைவ் தெர் இஸ் நோ ஃபார்முலா டு ஃபைண்ட் த ரூட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பாலினாமியல் ஆஃப் டிகிரி என் கிரேட்டர் தன் ஆர் இப்போ டு ஃபைவ் பட் த ரூட்ஸ் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் அண்ட் வி கேன் ஃபைண்ட் த ரூட்ஸ் வித்வுட் யூசிங் எனி ஃபார்முலா so there is no formula for the roots of a general nth degree polynomial where n greater than or equal to 5 using only field operations and the extraction of roots thank you thank you